Uh, as you may know if you've been here before, our practice is to meditate starting very soon uh, for about 35 minutes, and then we'll take a 10-minute break until a quarter to the hour, which is a quarter to seven Pacific time where I am in California. Then I'll give a talk and respond to questions and comments that have come in till really close to 7.30, half past the hour. Uh, then there'll be a little mini break, a micro break. Uh, those who want can leave. And then very optionally for those who'd like to stay and be formed into breakout rooms in the Zoom platform of around four or five people, uh, you can stick around and talk about the topics that I'm bringing up tonight. Tonight, our focus continues uh, the theme of acceptance, tonight focusing on accepting other people. And this can be certainly challenging, including how do we navigate the combination of accepting the fact of other people being the way they are, while also retaining the capacity to discern clearly what they're doing and to stand in our values about whether we think that's helpful or beneficial or not, and develop a plan about it. So that's a really powerful uh, topic uh, to explore tonight, uh, particularly if you think about people who you find especially challenging or you have felt especially wounded by or let down by. So that's going to be our, our focus tonight. Uh, if you like, you can use the chat function to say where you're from uh, and to comment about what I'm saying. Uh, if you don't want to use the chat function, just push the little chat button at the bottom of your Zoom window, it'll go away. And if you're bothered by the little numbers that start changing from other people um, chatting, uh, then just simply move your Zoom window down. Um, I like to enable people to have the chat function if they want, because I'm a choice kind of guy, uh, autonomy kind of guy. And um, also it gives me a sense of what people are um, saying and if they have any questions. And also the chat function is a way for some people to experience community with each other, uh, which is really important, I think, to promote and support, including in these online platforms. So ready to meditate? Let's meditate. So, establishing a posture that helps you feel comfortable and alert. Sitting, standing, walking, or lying down. And it can be supportive to have a sense of dignity and ease together. Not putting on airs or being uptight. Um, just a sense of self-respect, claiming your space, maybe tapping your feet on the floor if you're seated, touching a table if you have one in front of you, claiming your ground, much as the Buddha is said to have done the night of his own awakening. You get to be here. This is your space and your time in the present. Establishing the intention to remain present while being aware of whatever else is passing through awareness. Sounds, sensations, little thought bubbles, feelings, tugging at you to try to get you to hop on board. But instead, just letting them be and letting them pass if they do, while you remain aware and present.
with your eyes open or closed. Find an anchor for your attention that you can stay in touch with to help you remain present. For many people, a useful anchor are sensations in the body, particularly the sensations of breathing. But if you prefer another anchor of attention, such as a phrase, such as letting go, or a feeling such as peacefulness or gratitude or love, you can take that as your anchor for attention. So establishing yourself, aware of your anchor, in touch with it, continuously. In this meditation, I'm going to include a theme of acceptance, allowing, while remaining present with some felt sense of well-being. So presence while letting go presence while allowing, well-being while accepting. And the breath is a very useful training in this. We can become able to retain a sense of being okay a sense of basic well-being while allowing the sensations of breathing to keep changing, to be whatever they are. See if you can get a sense of this dual awareness of basic well-being while from time to time being aware of simply accepting and allowing sensations of breathing.
You might find that it helps to support your sense of well-being, to remain aware of the core of your body, your heart, the interior sensations in your chest and lungs, so that you're aware of the bodily markers of ongoing basic all rightness. There might also be a sense of thankfulness or contentment or calm associated with the bodily markers of basic all rightness as the basis of an ongoing sense of basic well-being. In this meditation, we're establishing this sense of basic well-being authentically, while second, really letting go and accepting whatever experiences pass through awareness. not resisting anything, not following anything. A feeling of basic well-being while continually letting go. This is the meditation. Not straining for well-being, no pressure. It's really fine if other feelings are moving through awareness, like sadness or fear, frustration, letting them be and letting them go. While in gentle ways, opening into a basic all rightness. Perhaps the image of a flower opening is useful to you. It's as if we're just opening into an underlying all rightness that's real.
As your mind gets quieter, you might find yourself increasingly abiding in a fundamental all rightness through which sounds and thoughts and other experiences simply pass. Abiding as all rightness through which experiences pass.
gently opening into, sinking down into a sense of basic well-being. with experiences of all kinds coming and going. Allowing any and all things to pass through awareness while you remain present basically okay. Perhaps also with a sense of thankfulness and warm-heartedness. Woven into your abiding.
If you like, in the last couple minutes, you can open your eyes and remain in meditation, abiding in well-being with experiences passing through. You can continue this meditation while looking around a little bit. being a little more active in the experiences you're having. Still accepting, still allowing still being well in your core. 